Yes, it definitely is bloody hat time, fellas. It stings still in the... Yeah. People overseas don't understand that. When they do all their fluorescent lights and things, you just... I don't think you're even in the ballpark, fellas, when it comes to stingage. When it comes to sunlight, you just... Unless you've been here, you don't really understand the amount... The, that's why it's so ironic. You know? We're the one nation in the whole bloody world who should be solar powered. Even in winter time, you know, we, you know we're on a sunny day during winter time. We get, we get stunning sunnage, you know? But, uh, yeah. Anyway, here's the Great Divide. If I've got time, I might look for other areas, but uh, I've got to be quick because, as I say, they might close the, the bloody gates. And it doesn't look promising, fellas. It just does not look promising. For a start, the ground's bloody bone dry. Well, dry... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Wow. Look at that. Out in the real world. Now, am I going to get a screenshot out of that? Or do I have to start a new clip and put it on macro again? Oh, bugger. Okay, well that's the only one I can see and it hasn't even produced any gemmy yet. But once the rains come, we're getting cold nights. As I said, we've still got this. Maybe it's a combination of the sting stingage in the sunlight and the coldness of the nights or something. But that's just one plant. I can't see. And is that the plant we actually filmed before? So we get the knowledge that if we film them in the season, they'll still be there. But ah, here's another one, second one. Is that in the same spot it was? from the footage I took last year, you know, what, five months, five, six months ago. Oh, Humpty do or something, back up, but uh, I don't know. As I said, all Donnie was, he harvested them from this area, and you've got the footage of him harvesting them from the area, and it took us until the following over the summer season to actually realise that we had something, but they don't look like the same colour so maybe he just happened to, happened to but he had like hundreds of plants didn't he in those pots so you know he must have taken them from what you know a, a few plants to get that many jemmy to get that many that though those numbers of plants i would have thought so whether the, the, the burn has actually burnt out the the actual crop because we did actually harvest some from down there as well so which, which we couldn't find any plants of last year but maybe the the burn has um the smoke water from the burn last year has triggered, has triggered or will trigger some um, germination of dormant seed in the seed bank. I don't know, but three plants here doesn't look very exciting. And I don't really think I want to harvest jemmy from only three plants. I would rather let the jemmy linger here and form plants, you know. And I haven't even got my soil down, you know. If I had a soil that had been totally worked out, might be a different situation, but I haven't even got to the end of the, the journey on my soil, so... <sighs> yeah. You wouldn't read about it, would you? But, uh, yeah. And what about that burnout section that uh, Stefan and I was looking at? I did promise to take him back there and look again on camera for him. But uh, maybe it's better to have a look down there where they used to be up down there. And even though we didn't find them last year, in last season maybe we look again now anyway I'll, I'll take a drive down there but it doesn't look promising i think you're going to have to make do with seed the the, the special seed I, I the occidentalist stuff but and as i said the color's not right it's not dark enough so whether the mountain bowl red or black pigs were being lost to history i'm just hope donnie sent some overseas because someone out there would still have them and not realize what a gold mine they've got, you know? But anyway, yeah, maybe that's why they did the burn or something and uh, they thought the, the rain would come in and they'd been caught out. But there's the, there's the substation there, so it's very uh, disconcerting of actually where the bushfire is. And another reason why I should have an iPad with Google instantaneous, Google Earth or whatever it is that, uh, Another reason why we need to get to us, get rid of our so-called, you know, so-called prime minister is just—he's just not in the. He's still in the 1950s. He just doesn't understand. 
and we've got no minister of science all the nerds and geeks around the world are just scratching their head you know it's like like you know nerds and geeks just don't count in a way you can sum it up that way you know nerds and geeks around the world and, and myself included just don't count to him no no science minister so, you know, and now they're cutting funding from the CSIRO and uh, you know, we're going to cut 22 million out of the ABC. So, you know, what about Australian actors? We used to have a really good Australian film in industry here in the 1970s. I mean, I think all the actors, all the uh, Jack Thompson, all the rest, just form a unit and just, you know, you know, go on national TV and just say, no, we've had enough. You know, we had a really good good run of films in the 1970s because we had a, actually had a South Australian film industry. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know, maybe this Barry O'Farrell thing will actually trigger something, because he's actually, I don't know whether he's just actually been honourable, or um, it's just a way of getting out of things, I don't know, but, you know, I like to think he, you know, he's an honourable chap, um, and he uh, didn't, no, I think he's been called out, I think he's been set up, actually, but, you know, but, uh, who would have seen that coming? <laughs> People in New South Wales, of course, but, anyway, over and out, we'll move on down the road. I think I've had my rant for today. Okay. <laughs>